Hello again, everyone. As the COVID-19 crisis continues, I wanted to share these updates from the Port of Los Angeles. To begin, port operations continue to run smoothly with no congestion or disruption whatsoever. Terminals and gates are open daily, with the evening labor shift starting an hour later so cargo handling equipment and radios can be sanitized. As the economy has contracted, we are seeing smaller container ships return to service. Unfortunately, more than 30 scheduled sailings have been canceled through mid-July. The good news is that workforce labor shift counts at the ports of Long Beach and Los Angeles last week were up 20%, and were at their highest level in nearly two months. We also anticipate higher container volume in April as manufacturing in China normalizes and some U.S. businesses replenish their inventories. This is encouraging news in the short term, but unfortunately, overall volume in the year 2020 will be considerably lower than last year. In other news, our Harbor Department employees remain on the job. Port police are maintaining patrol levels, keeping vigilant watch over our marine operations and our public waterfront. Our construction and maintenance workforce also continues to service in areas of need. Their recent field work includes the replacement of a large steel beam on the Badger Avenue Bridge and ongoing work for our LA waterfront. The Harbor Department's office workforce is mostly telecommuting at this time, but no routine or special project has been impacted. Right now, we are especially active on the city's new Logistics Victory LA effort that I am leading as Los Angeles Chief Logistics Officer during this pandemic. Logistics Victory LA is working to ensure that the medical supply chain flowing into LA area hospitals remains strong and fluid. As part of this effort, last evening, Los Angeles Mayor Eric Garcetti announced that Apple is providing Love LA with 160,000 face shields for frontline hospital workers and others who need added face protection in their work environments. We thank Apple for this generous donation. The Logistics Victory LA program is aggressively looking for other sources of face shields, examination gloves, medical masks, face covers, protective gowns, and other essential supplies that local hospitals need to treat COVID-19 patients. If you have leads or needs for these supplies, please visit and share your information with us at www.lovela.org. That's L-O-V-L-A dot O-R-G. Thank you, everyone. Together, we will get through this crisis. Until next time, continue to avoid public areas as much as you can. Practice safe and physical distancing and stay at home, please. Thank you.